Hey everybody, this is Cradled Cat again, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my impressions of Pokemon Uranium. Um, I played about four hours of this game now, including playing the the first maybe half hour of the game with every starter Pokemon, and I gotta say, despite having touched only about let's say 10% of the content available here. I really feel like I've gotten an incredible handle on uh, just a, a look inside the, the heads of the designers. And the first thing I can notice from the very, uh, the very opening is not only do these, the creators of this game love Pokemon, but they have such an in-depth understanding of the systems uh, built and maintained by Game Freak in the handheld experience and have really worked to develop a game within the bounds of that system, but that also surpasses, uh, in my mind, um, uh, the original games. What I mean by that is I feel like the developers of Pokemon Uranium have spent so many, so much time inside the world that Game Freak have created, uh, that the Pokemon Company have created, that Pokemon Red, Pokemon, you know, Gold, Pokemon, uh, Crystal, all those created, that they have, um, really mastered the system and have just um, found a way to break all of the rules that make Pokemon Pokemon in a way that not uh, removes the player from the experience, but really adds to it. Um, and if that all sounds like high-minded theoretical gibberish, um, let me just... Uh, talk you through an example um, for example looking at my Pokemon and by the way all these menus just look fantastic navigating them feels great um, let's take a look at the starter now this starter is the water starter but if you look at the types all the starters are dual typed um, and they're all opposites of each other so uh, electricity is weak or is strong against water and this Pokemon the water Pokemon is water electricity the fire Pokemon is fire ground and the grass Pokemon is grass steel all kind of uh, um, starters that uh, you know have a lot of strategic complexity to it and also if you pick up the mystery gift when you first start the game and you go to the main menu uh, you'll see mystery gift and it, it puts a um, a gift available in the Pokemart you get this Gerbolta who's kind of a uh, Pikachu analog but not just electric electricity ground which is just incredibly um, it's just incredibly interesting you know it's a really dynamic Pokemon um, but not only that, uh, this game has an incredible way of um, building on the systems, like the berries introduced in Gold Silver make uh, return full force in this game. Um, and not only berries, but early I had a Pokemon learn the move um, Natural Gift. Uh, which I think is this Lotad, which you might recognize from, uh, I guess the second gen or the third gen Pokemon. It's, it is a official Pokemon. Um, but looking at that guy, he's got an ability, natural gift, that's based off of the, uh, the berry that he's holding. So berries are in it, the bicycle is in it, and not only is the bicycle in the game, um, but it's early in the game, and there's there's a quest to get it. Um, you know, you saw me using the fishing rod, uh, trying to collect my thoughts. Um, here is the metro station. So they do really good pacing the games 
um, or this game with the the items laid out so and the HMs like rock smash to get from place to place you need to you know evolve your character's abilities and that allows you to, to travel and navigate the environment um, and this is something that Pokemon did really well and it really helped the casual player uh, you know children get into the RPG experience and I feel like the creators of Pokemon Uranium have really translated that into this new game it doesn't feel forced um, it doesn't feel like I am um, just playing uh, Pokemon Red or Pokemon Gold again I feel like I'm playing a not only a new game but one that is improving on the systems uh, present in um, Pokemon Red Blue, Pokemon Gold Silver, uh, you know, Leaf Green, whatever, whatever, the, you know, all these handheld games. Um, and I feel like they're really creating something new. Um, for example, just before I head into this, uh, this gym here, this is a, um, the second gym, and it's the cave gym. Um, but, for example, looking forward to, you know, a, a very important part of this game, the, the radioactive Pokemon. Um, nuclear is its own type, but it's a, uh, one of those special types that can infect other Pokemon. So one Pokemon uh, could be normal, but there could be a Pokemon of the same species that's normal nuclear if it's near radiation or whatever. And that's not something I've really got into in the game, but from reading about it, um, I understand that nuclear type Pokemon can be stronger, but also defiant to the master, uh, which is a system, the um, defiance system that was implemented in the games. Often, if a uh, Pokemon was traded to you at a very high level, or um, you know some other situations, but it was just a, a thing that was conditionally active in these base Pokemon games that the creators of Pokemon Uranium have turned into a, uh, a fundamental part of the game. And that is something that I see time and time again um, in my brief time with this game, and that is the creators really breaking the rules in ways that uh, augment the Pokemon experience to being something fun. So, with that said, uh, why don't we move into this gym and uh, take a little bit of a more action-oriented view of the second gym. Okay, so I'm going to arrange my Pokemon, uh... I want to be sure to level up the Pokemon that are weak that I'm excited about using, but at the same time, I want to be able to uh, crush all oppositions, because, you know, why else am I here? So I'm looking at the TMs. By the way, TMs you can use multiple times, so that was a frustrating part of the original games. I don't know if they ever changed that late into the handheld uh, lifespan, but back when I was playing them, um, there's not something available. So I am going to get this fighting move, Rock Smash, because I know that's going to help me here. Um, and I know this guy's just got some... Yeah, defense, defense curl. That Pokemon's not living long enough to use defense curl. So, let's just do some battling. Crushing bowls with your fist. All right. I like it. All right, so that is a po poison Pokemon, kind of like a fuzzy Zubat. And this guy is not really going to be able to do all too much. Uh, but maybe I can... Oh, well, that is just really unfortunate. So I haven't contracted the poison, which is good. Um, but this guy, this is a cave Pokemon. It is the evolution 
um, of a Pokemon you find early in this game. It's like Barrel Wool or whatever. It looks like a like a rock hard Teletubby. It's a very strange Pokemon. Um, but what I do have to say about it is it is just about immune to all normal attacks. You see him using Tackle and it not doing anything. Uh, so it's very good early in the game. And I, I got this one at like level 8 and it is just ran over uh, just everybody. Huge amounts of HP and huge amounts of defense, which translates into huge amount of effective HP. Uh, so as you can see, um, this rock ground Pokemon uh, just hilariously OP. Um, so I am going to switch my Pokemon. Um, just because I'm trying to level them. Um, trying to get a full team. Uh, I blasted through um, some of the handheld games just using an Abra uh, early in my Pokemon days. So now I'm trying to uh, really diversify and not just have a level 600 Kadabra or whatever I did when I was, you know, 12. Um, so, I don't know, Leech Life? I don't know. Yeah, this is just not doing too much. Uh, poison. What is strong against poison? Um. Uh, more fire? Ground, rock. Alright, here's the plan. So, I am just gonna go reach back into the Teletubby Bear and uh, just crush this guy because there's, <laughs> there's just really no damage in this thing. Um, honestly, it's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, so... I, I would, I think ground and rock are really good. I guess fighting just isn't. Hmm. Yeah, I, I gotta use ground types, but I just can't because um, uh, this guy's levitating. It's one of his little passives. But um, luckily, uh, this Daryl just just crushes. Yeah, yeah, you did. Didn't really have much of a shot at all, did you? Oh, all right. So let's just heal this guy up. Do -do 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 -do. Great. So overall, just a very good game. I found that the controls, um, I really, uh, enjoyed the game a lot more once I remapped the controls, and, um, mm, what I did was I moved it from the arrow keys to WASD, and then E as kind of the A button, uh, the, the button that is select, and spacebar also is that select button, and then tab is my back button, and that also is, um, what opens the, the menu, uh, tab and escape, so that's working really well for me, sometimes I use the mouse, and you can click on some of this stuff, um, but it's really not necessary, so he's throwing out these little babies, and I'm just smashing them. Um, so this is what I was talking about as the incredibly effective Pokemon. Uh, this, this weird baby action. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's pretty strange looking. So this is my starter. Um, 
to speak a little bit more about the starters, I did uh, use all of them. And you don't select them, but instead have an aptitude test. It asks you some simple questions. Um, and the answers uh, are all, um, when you are selecting them, they are colored. Uh, the offensive answer is red, and if you answer the red answers, you get the fire Pokemon. Then, you know, the green is the defensive, you get the grass, the blue, you get the water, and it's the balance, quote-unquote. So, you don't pick your starter Pokemon, but at the same time, you absolutely pick your starter Pokemon. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, and I tried all of them. Uh, you might have seen in my earlier video the... Uh, Fire Pokemon, who is very, very fast and just does a lot of special attack damage. Um, just like it says, offense just uh, obliterates some people. Great Pokemon. Um, I also tried the Grass Pokemon, who very hilariously does not start with a Grass move. It just starts with um, uh, Tackle and Growl. So I had to use a potion in my rival battle. I almost lost to the rival. It was really embarrassing. Um, Okay, so this Grozard here, he has the ability to keep me uh, in the ring with him, which is unfortunate because I, I didn't want that at all. Uh, but that's okay. Okay. So the first move that the grass, it's a grass steel cat, learns is leech seed. So, um, you know, you cast leech seed and then every turn, uh, oh word, every turn you gain a little bit of the enemy's health, the enemy drains a little bit, uh, and it is defensive. It's just as defensive as it says, it plays defensive, it's a little boring. And then this guy, his name is not actually Tuxnip, but it was pretty unintelligible. Um, and I'm, I just named my Pokemon gibberish. It's just something I do. Um, he's awesome. Uh, water Gun, Thunder Zap. Um, how can you go wrong? Bulldoze? That's pretty sweet. Oh, uh, that's really giving me the business. Wow, that metal claw is just a joke. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um, yeah, grass, ice, and water I think is good against ground, which is what these guys... So most of the, the Pokemon are completely new. Um, there's a handful of Pokemon that are uh, in the game that are from the previous games. Um, and it's awesome. I hope there's Abra. Haven't seen him yet. Um, okay, folks. Okay, excavation is what's going on here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. Uh, no way to make this interesting. Let's say whatever the hell I like, but I'm still just smashing rocks. Is this a puzzle? Is this what a puzzle looks like? Alright, I'm gonna talk to this hiker. I'm just embarrassing myself. These Pokemon are no joke! Not here to tell jokes, sir. Whoa, folks. 
We were just embarrassing ourselves. Overall, I've got to say this game is very, very good. Um, there are some online features that I have not seen work yet. I've tried them once. Um, and, you know, who knows? And as far as getting the game, it has been pulled uh, from the official host. Um, you know, it's up to you to decide how tongue-in-cheek that is. But they said... Oh, you know, we're removing this game, but of course there's plenty of places to download, um, and there's always peer-to-peer -peer solutions. Uh, so, let's fight this guy in his little rock castle. Yeah, man, you live in, you live in caves. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I don't understand. Is there, like, a responsibility for these guys to, like, stay at a certain level? Uh, so people don't just... You know, crap on him. Oh no. Um. So I am. Yeah, I'm absolutely getting this Pokemon out of here. Right! Rosard! I've done that twice now. Okay. Seems time to fight to the death. Oh man, that's coming pretty fast. Ooh. This music is awesome also. Very good. Y'all saw him just like slip that potion in there. We all saw that. So, so far, I've been incredibly impressed this game. And it really feels like it was made um, you know, in a way, Pokemon games, when they were first coming out, was targeted, um, at my generation, you know, people that were, uh, playing Game Boys, uh, you know, 10 through 20, and I feel like, um, this game, which was in development for nine years, was truly made for people that were playing those games. So I feel like in terms of difficulty, this is definitely um, a step up. I feel like it's made for people that were playing uh, Red when they were kids, as opposed to being made for kids like Red was. Um, so this Moo Drill is just, just an incredibly unfortunate facial feature. Um, you know, it reminds me of, like, dogs with cones on their heads, but at the same time, it's just like, his head is a cone, uh, so, I think we can all just agree that that's really unfortunate. Um, so this guy used a potion on his Pokemon, so I'm gonna have to say I'm also gonna use a potion. Uh...
I mean, honestly, in a friendly trainer battle like this, I think it's pretty rude to use potions. Um, you know, we're just gonna sit here and throw our money away together, spraying our potions, everything. Like the Poke Center is free, you know. Just fight it out like men, and then uh, take it all to the Poke Center. No. Water him down. He's hosing him on down. They are real wet, and he doesn't like that. Good stuff. No, I don't even know what that is. Oh, good lord. Oh man, he's got some shit to say, and... Yeah. Oh, poison fang. Oh, right in the face. Um... So I love this Pokemon, it's just like a little fire ant, s'more, pretty sweat, sick. This is just... Um... Mm. Mm. There are many ways this could go better. Tofarang. Um, I just feel like that's a poison type Pokemon. You know what it is? It's an upgrade of one of these guys. It flies around, then it just decides to get bigger and lie down. That's ridiculous. Well, uh, yep, okay, this is what's happening. Ah, uh, okay. Luckily, I got this guy. And the thing about Duoroll is just all he does is win. See, so observe as I go from losing to just winning. Well. Some people might say to me, Cat, why are you so stingy with your regen items? And the answer is, uh, you know, there's not really an answer. I don't want my Pokemon to be weak. I don't want them to think they're going to get bailed out. They need to know. They can do it. Nice brick break. Sweet. That's it, guys. Thanks for joining me so much. Um, as I took a look on what's going on here. Uh, and you know what? I really honestly expected someone to come up and start a little dialogue. That's how chock full of games and quests and character interactions this game is. I highly recommend you uh, check it out, especially for the price tag of free. Um, and you know what? If you can't find it, uh, feel free to leave a comment, send me a message, and I will help you find this game. Um, again, I've been Cradle Cat. This has been all for me, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much, and have a great day.